city's wastewater treatment plant went online in 1987. Um, immediately, nutrients were, were an issue, and we worked very diligently through the 90s to uh, lower our nutrient content that goes into uh, the canal and ultimately Rehoboth Bay. In 2002, the city signed a consent order with the state that we would look at the ways to remove the discharge of the effluent from the canal. Hello, my name is Jeff Sturdivant. I work for GHD Engineering. GHD Engineering has been working with the city of Rehoboth Beach to find an alternative disposal option for the city's wastewater treatment effluent. The recommended alternative was an ocean outfall one mile off the beach in Rehoboth. The evaluations looked at multiple dilution models and it determined that there was very little or no impact to the beach and the surf zone. The ocean outfall would be drilled through the surf zone through directional drilling so there'll be no impact there. The work would be completed during the winter months so there will be no impact to the summer months and all of the uh, going on in the beach at that time. The force mains uh, going to terminate at Doville Beach which is where we are now uh, and it'll be at that point the ocean outfall pipe will be uh, connected and that pipe will extend off the beach about 6,000 feet. It's environmentally safe. It's been proven uh, with other communities nearby, both the South Coastal Wastewater Treatment Plant that the county operates that serves Bethany Beach area and Ocean City, Maryland. Hi, uh, my name's Charlie Phelan. I'm superintendent of the Ocean City Wastewater Department. And I'm Dennis Steer. Since 1982, I've served as city engineer, city manager, and currently I'm on the city council. As part of our wastewater facility, we do have an ocean outfall that goes out into the ocean 4,600 feet. It's a 30-inch diameter pipeline with diffusers in the last 1,000 feet. The Ocean City outfall has been in place for 45 years. In the time I've been here, never had a complaint, never had an issue uh, with the outfall. In fact, the outfall has allowed Ocean City to develop since the 1970s uh, up until now and um, has protected our environment. The wastewater treatment project really consists of two phases. One is the outfall and the second part is the improvements to the wastewater treatment plant. We have a lot of catch up to do uh, to bring the facility back up to, to standard. Uh, some concrete work to be a lot of electrical work uh, and that sort of thing. The city of Rehoboth Beach treats wastewater from the communities of Rehoboth Beach, Dewey Beach, Tenlopen Acres, and North Shores. In the summer, our flows are approximately 2 million gallons a day with a peak of 3.4 on holiday weekends. In the winter, we treat about 1 million gallons a day. The typical reaction when people come up on tours and see this tank is, oh my gosh, that's a whole tank full of fecal matter. Uh, in reality, it's not. The incoming wastewater has a TSS value of somewhere in the neighborhood of 150 milligrams per liter. We maintain a biomass within, the, within this tank, a population of living organisms that are consuming the incoming wastewater. Following the biological portion is the uh, sedimentation process, whereby we allow the organisms to settle to the bottom of the tank. The clear liquid remains on the top and we get just a little bit of fat oils and greases floating on the surface, which is removed and then sent out with the biosolids. This is a sample of the influent wastewater coming into the facility, and this is a sample of the effluent that's being discharged to the Lewis Road Canal. The final phase of treatment before discharge is chlorination, dechlorination. The water then exits the plant, flows into the Lewis Rehoboth Canal, which eventually flows to the Rehoboth Bay, and after about 70 to 90 days makes its way to the Atlantic Ocean. The total estimated cost is $52.5 million, but it's important to remember that 40% uh, of this is on behalf of Sussex County for Dewey Beach and Henlopen Acres, so the city's cost in this is really 60% as Sussex County will be paying 40% of the uh, bond interest in principal each year. What does this mean to you? It means that the city of Rehoboth Beach, upon installation of this ocean outfall, will have solved their problems with uh, how to dispose of treated effluent from the treatment plant for years to come, and, and there will be no impact to the inland bays in Rehoboth Bay. So it is truly the best option for the city of Rehoboth Beach. It's important to remember, though, that this project is not uh, we'd like to do. This is we're mandated by state law that we have to get our discharge out of the canal. And the commissioners have looked long and hard, and everybody's had a say in this, 
and ocean outfall is the way to go. And I'm asking that you please vote for the outfall so we can move this project forward in a timely fashion and get this one behind us.